going to preach this morning on why I must preach on hell. Why I must I preach on hell this morning? I cannot tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I had a Savior, amen, that preached more on hell than he did on heaven. He preached eight times, amen, on hell this morning, and he only preached three and a half years. So, by the way, he preached twice a year on hell, but there's a day we're living in where a preacher won't preach on hell. But it's my calling this morning to preach on hell. Hallelujah. I mean, it's glad you ain't going to turn a place on hell this morning. I want you to understand that God never used a man a proper name in a parable. So I can tell you that this is a real story. But they was a real rich man. And they was a real man by the name of Lazarus this morning. And why must I preach on hell this morning? Because I got a Savior. Thank God that preached it. And he's a good preacher this morning. I'm here to tell you. But number one this morning, I want to preach on. I must. I don't want to. And it's the hardest thing for a preacher to preach on hell. But I must preach on hell this morning, Brother Larry, because there is a sentence of death upon the land. How many believe there is a sentence of death? Oh, amen. amen. Oh, Lazarus died, didn't he? Somebody help me preach right here. Hallelujah to God. I believe there is a physical death. How many can say amen that you're going to die? Amen. Lazarus died, didn't he? Hebrews 9, 27 says, And as it's appointed for man, I wants to die. And after this, the judgment. And John said in John 14, 10, But man died, and he wasted away. And yea, he giveth up the ghost. And where is he? Where is he? I dreamed of. Saved. 
into the pit and come. I'll never burn in the trial walls of the damned. Hallelujah. Thank God there's a sin soul on death. There's a physical death. There's a spiritual death. Amen. Praise God. God told you. Adam there Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. Say you eat of this truth. You eat of this fruit. You'll die. Right. That man old Adam took it. Because he persuaded him. He loved me. And he. And because he failed. Praise God we ought to fail. Why should I preach on hell brother Bill? How God told us he'd kill Ezekiel 3. He said. Man of God. I've called you to be a watchman. I to warn the wicked. Amen. I saw 917 said the wicked. I shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. But God told us, told us he to warn them. Warn them the soul. And that's going to die. Amen. If you don't warn them, I'm going to be upon your hand. Why I preach on hell, I don't want your blood. 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 I got to warn the wicked. Amen. 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 Praise God. Adam sinned. Amen. Amen. The garden. He died spiritually. Wow. 930 years later, he died physically. Wow. There is a physical death, but there's a spiritual death. Amen. 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 Romans 3.23. All sin that comes short of the glory of God. Amen. 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 Romans 5.12. Wherefore by one man sin in the world. I get my sin. So dead pass upon all men. After all have sin. By Romans 6 23. How the wages of sin is dead. But the gift of God is eternal life. Jesus Christ our Lord. Honey, I'll never die. And man, Jesus said, I'm the resurrection and the life. He that believes on me, though every day, get shut in. Why should I preach on hell? There's a sense of death. There's a physical death. There's a spiritual death. How Jesus said in John 8 24, if you believe not, I'm he, you shall die in your sins. If you die in your sins this morning, you'll burn in the tall walls of the day. You can't take sin to heaven. Somebody say amen. amen. There ain't no risk in heaven. There ain't no death in heaven. There ain't no dope in heaven. There'll be no party in heaven. Amen. Say amen. There'll be no party in heaven. Somebody holler amen right there. Come on. Help me preach a little bit. God made me a watchman. God said to watch for your soul. Hebrews 13, 17. A pastor is to watch. To the souls of men. Right. I'm responsible. Right. I'm responsible when I preach this morning. Right. Right. Say amen, my God. Right. Say what you're loud, you holler, you carry on. Right. You've got what I got in 1981. Hey, right. Brother Tails. Yeah, right. Only God moved into my life. Yeah. Hell moved down the devil's left. Hell, how you holler like I do? Right. Yeah. You can hold the ball game all you want to. But I got something right. to shout at. Amen. Yeah. 
for mercy to let no mercy. Thank you for verse 4, but God, who's rich in mercy. I'm glad, thank God, His compassions never fail. Great is His faithfulness. I'm glad mercy walked in. Suffering the damnation. The wrath of God. Somebody holler, Amen. Amen. He cried for mercy. Amen. Have they placed hells out of darkness? Yeah. Yeah. Weeping. Yeah. Nice and teeth. Right. I can't explain that nice and the teeth thing. I ain't never got that. But bless God, you go to hell, they'll be, they'll be biting on you. They'll be screaming. Lord, I wish I could make it. Somebody said, well, they, that's symbolic. If that's symbolic, praise God, how much more real is the realization of hell? I'm trying to tell you, friend, I must preach on hell because of the suffering of damnation. He cried for mercy. Hey, man, just one drop of water. Hey, man, one drop of water to cool my tongue. This one drop, brother Ben, that's all we cried out for. If you go to hell this morning, it's suffering and torment. And one drop of water. I'm going to tell you this morning, oh, yeah. God Almighty, yeah. I must preach on hell. Yeah. I must tell you yeah. that there is a hell this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Good God. Hallelujah to the Lord. Look at verse 25. I won't say this as a cry of memory. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime received the good things, and that's of evil things. But now he's comforted, and thou art tormented. You'll remember every message you heard. If you die in your sins this morning, you'll remember this preacher warned you about hell. This preacher told you, don't go to hell this morning. Don't die if you see it. The suffering and torment of damnation this morning. I'm telling you, it's a memory thing. You'll remember every message. You'll remember every good thing. You'll remember the sweetness of God. You'll remember thy God. And then in hell, it's a suffering of your memory. Amen. How many believe? Mark chapter 9, verse 44 is literal word of God. Jesus went ahead. Don't cut your hand off, cut your foot up, put the eye out. He said it's an everlasting fire with a fire. It's not quenched and they're worm. God, no. That's a memory. Right. That's a memory. He won't die. Somebody holler amen. Right. amen. Why do you still preach on hell, brother Donnie? I guarantee you, you search the internet. You search the Baptist church and see if you'll see any preacher preach on hell. Uh -huh. Oh, you're trying to scare my youngins. You're trying to scare. Would to God I could scare you. Yeah. Would to God I could scare you out of hell. When the God I could help you understand this morning there is a literal hell. Yeah. Why must I preach on hell? Amen. There's a cry for mercy, a cry yeah. of memory. Yeah. Amen. And there's a cry of mystery. Yeah. There's a gut fix oh, that he yeah. couldn't get out. And yet they been trapped and couldn't get out. Hey, the Catholics say they're purgatory. Ain't no purgatory. That much of perverts. They pervert little children. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Praise God. Called himself the Father, my hind leg. Ain't nothing God about that bunch. I mean that Catholicism is straight out of the pit of hell. It's a great horror. And here, that killed our ancestors. They killed the Anabibus. If you only read that little blood, and the blood, the trail of blood, they cut their bellies open and let the hogs eat them. Nero hung the Christian. On his dark day, man, that Catholicism is straight out of hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The down line must God yeah, yeah, yeah. bother me. I'm here to tell you, they think there's a place. If a priest got enough money, he can buy you out. That ain't true. That ain't true. That ain't true. Once you die, seven tenths of a second. You're in hell if you die without Jesus Christ. Right. I mean, you'll wake up in a torment of hell. Right now, every few seconds, Miss Jane, people's will die. Millions are plunging off into hell. Hell's enlarged itself, according to Isaiah the prophet. Hell's waiting on you to come. It welcomes. Every time you see a volcano outpour that volcano's ashes, it's hell that enlarged itself. I'm telling you, friend, I'm preaching hell's beneath you. Hell's beneath you. You act like you don't believe what I'm preaching. I must preach on 
today. Amen. Because there's a sins of death. And because of the suffering of damnation. Somebody holler at me right there. Do you know he had five brothers? There's a cry in ministry. There's a cry for his brothers. I don't know what nobody's going to tell, Brother Larkin. That's why I got to preach. That's why I got to tell your youngins. That's why I got to tell you. Brother, don't tell your children that there's a hell. Praise God. And one day, if they ain't saved, they'll get saved. Because some man of God fired back, pulled back the hammer back, and preached hell hot, heaven sweet. How many believes that's preaching? How many believes that's a Bible? That King James Bible, bless God. Hold you, Lord, up and wave it at the Lord. Hold you, if you've got your Bible with you, hold it up and shake it in the devil's face. He can't do nothing about the Word of God. I'm born again by the Scripture. Oh, said, bless God, hallelujah. I'll deliver to you that which I also received. How Christ died for our sins according to the Scripture. I was buried and rose again the third day according to the Scripture. Oh! Hallelujah. Hey, my suffer the damnation. Praise God, I want everybody to be saved, don't you? He said he had five brethren. Somebody still with me out there? That's right. Look at verse 28. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them. And let's say also come into this place of torment. Look at verse 29. And Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets that can hear them. You do understand I'm preaching you the Bible this morning, don't you? You do understand I must preach on hell this morning. I must tell you. I must tell you this morning. And that because of the sins of death, because of the suffering of damnation, but I want to tell you because the determination of the Savior, amen, to get you saved, hallelujah. I'm glad the Savior come after seeking to save that which is lost. Hallelujah. I'm glad He waited on me. Oh, I was 27 years old, been in the Baptist church, joined everything they had to offer, didn't know about God. But in 1981, April the 12th, had the sweet Holy Ghost, had the high shepherd's over here, served the morning grace on me. I'm born. I was convicted of my sins. Hallelujah to God. But the Lord kept waiting on me to repent. Did you see that? If they be one that rose from the dead, they will repent. What's repent mean? Turn. And bless you Sunday morning. I was going that way, Brother Larry. But I turn. I turn. And I went a 360 the other way. I mean, good God Almighty. Say man. I mean, he's got the Lord waiting on you. He's patient. He's patient. Second Peter 3 9. The Lord's not slack concerning promise. And some men kept slackness. How that is long suffering toward us. I'm not willing that any should perish. How that all should come after repentance. Accept me, Perry God commanded all men everywhere to repent. Thank God I repented. Thank God I turned. Thank God hell moved down. Heaven moved in. The Holy Ghost took on my life. And the Jesus came, the star of my life. A lot of people make a profession, don't never repent. A lot of people come because they got caught. If they come up here and cry a little bit, I feel bad. That ain't repentance, bless God. Repentance is turn. Turn to the Bible and turn to the living God. Is that not right about it? Jesus said in Luke chapter 13, verse 3, except you repent, you shall likewise perish. He said in verse 5, except you repent, you shall likewise perish. What's that mean? If you don't repent, you'll go to hell. Repentance and faith are Siamese twins. Say that right there. Somebody said repentance works. Oh no, friend. 
and faith and repentance is signed and strength. Amen. As soon as you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. hallelujah, you repent. Amen. Turn. Amen. I'm a good preacher. I'm glad. I'm glad, preacher. I'm glad. Thank God. He waited on me. They said he'll never make it. But all day long, Romans 10, 21, all day long he stretched out his hands to the rebellious and the gainsaid people. That little Baptist church couldn't do nothing with me. Mama thought I was a good boy. But one day I believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. As many as received Him to them, I, I gave it power how to become the sons of God. Even them believe on His name. Romans 5 verse 6. When people get without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. I yeah. for scarcely for righteous man will one die. Peradventure for a good man will one even die to die. I thank God. I can be the I have to have a fear. But God commanded His love towards us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I'm here to tell you the good news that I ain't going to hell. Why must I preach on hell? To keep you out. I'm trying to keep these youngins out of hell. I'm trying to keep you family out of hell. I'm from one of the wicked. Hey man, if I'm one of the wicked, their blood will be on my hands. I'm going to leave here this morning, your blood ain't going to be on my hands. I've done warned you. I don't know. I like you. You want to join us more? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I must preach on him. Yes. Amen. 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 Because of the sins of death, because of the suffering and damnation, but because of the Savior waiting patiently for me. Amen. Amen. Look what the Bible says, please. Are you still with me? In verse number 30, he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went into them from a day, they will repent. But notice verse 31. This is blessed songs out of me. I was in my study. Shout this one. Because this God takes it up to persuade you this morning. My evangelistic skills ain't going to get it done. But look at verse 31. And he said unto him, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded. Say persuaded. Persuaded. Though one rose. <laughs> I come to tell you they was one. <laughs> that rose from the dead. And that's who I trust this morning. Hebrews 7, 25, wherefore he is able i to say to the uttermost and to come to God by Him. See the ever liver. i to make intercession. Peter said it like this in 1 Peter 3 18. Christ also once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. The Holy Ghost raised Him up. God the Father raised him up. Amen. Yeah. Listen to this. John 2, 17 says, you destroy this temple and in three days I'll raise it up again. Yeah. Matthew 12 and 39, an evil that talks to generation seeking after right a sign. And there shall be no sign given. But it's John. <laughs> What's three days and three nights in the whale's belly? So shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Jesus raised Himself from the dead. The Holy Ghost raised Him up. The Father raised Him up. I'm a Trinity believer. i got to try to God. Not the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. Tell the JWs they need to get born again. Tell the Mormons He's God. Amen. I'm a suffrage on hell. Yeah. The termination of the Savior. He just kept going. He just kept going. They couldn't hold his body down. He said, Because I live, you live also. Yeah. Well, when must I get saved, Brother Donnie? Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 2 said, Behold, 
now right. has accepted him. Right. Right. Today yeah. is the day of salvation. Yeah. Where must I get saved, Brother Donnie? Right now. Right. I'm preaching to somebody lost yeah. this morning. Yeah. Little boy, little girl. Yeah. Don't die like you are. Right. Come and get saved. How, how does it work, Brother Donnie? Boy, I'm glad you asked. Romans 10 9 says, That it thou shalt confess with the mouth of the Lord Jesus. And believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession may know the salvation. Verse 13 says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How many believe that? I'm glad with plainness of speech this morning. I laid her out there, even a child can play. Mm -hmm. Is that not right? Right. They some many right. theologians that got their cement been in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 And they get up and they're great orators. Mm -hmm. and I don't care what you think about me. It don't make me a hill of beans. But I say it right to meet your intellect, it don't bother me a bit. Because when God gives me an unction and no and gives me a message, everything's all right. Amen. Why must I preach on hell? Somebody asked me the other day, you still preach on hell? I said, yeah, when God gives it to you. I don't want to come. But I've come to warn you this morning. Don't die. Don't go to hell. Don't you stand in faith? Don't you stand in faith? Don't you ask to answer a question for me this morning? Would you be honest with God and yourself and this preacher this morning? I, I promise you, I'm not embarrassed nobody in this people. But I just need to know. If you to die today, see, this generation don't even know what Christian means. They don't even know what saved means. But if you ask them this question, if you to die today, we be spent in eternity. I want you to raise your hand. If you know if you used to die today, you'd go to heaven and be with Jesus. If you know you used to die today, cross the building. There's a bunch of can, maybe some of can. Build down. I want to pray. Father, I preach what you give me this morning. God, and I know there's a little boy, a little girl. There's a man or woman, Lord, in the building. And they've never been saved. I tried to lay it out there, Lord, where they could get a hold of it. I tried to lay it out there, Lord, where they know the Savior loves them so much. God, would you send the power now to this invitation, all that I've done thus far. God, is your word and truth. But God, unless you convict, unless you bring, I realize and understand, Lord, that I can't get folks saved. But God, if you do your work now, if you do work, Lord, in some little heart, some little life, God, let them know the time's running out. And God, if they don't get saved, they'll, they'll go to this awful place. I'm glad, Lord, I was able to preach it this morning in the power. So, Lord, maybe believers here in the building, I'll give them a chance, Lord. Maybe they got a brother. Maybe they got a sister. Maybe they got a mom and daddy. Maybe they got loved ones that ain't saved. How much more should we pray in an altar and ask God to help us win them? Oh God, birth in us now what we need to do with this invitation. God, I'm careful to praise you and honor you for what you do. For it's in Jesus' name. And for his sake I pray. Amen. And amen. While they sing this song, I'll ask you, Thanks would three, you come? Three, maybe you're a believer here this morning. Maybe you lead the way and pray for your loved ones. Who be honest? There's a great day coming. Come on. Come on. There's a great day coming. Thank you.
preach the word of God that you wouldn't die in your sins. And you're not going to live forever. You may be young sitting in the building, but you ain't going to live forever. They surgery's coming up and you could die on the operating table. You could die in the car wreck this morning. I don't know who God's dealing with, but seriously, would you pray Christian with me this morning that God earnestly give another tug in some little heart. Father, as God's people's praying this morning. And maybe they'll get that song just as I am. I don't know. I just remember when I came, Lord. And God, there's a little boy and little girl in the building. I just know it, Lord. There's a man. There's a woman. And God, they know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God's dealt with them this morning. And God, they know that God's compelling them. God's making their heart beat. Fast this morning. They don't understand what's the motion going on in their life. But God, I don't want them to die. God, you sent me to warn them this morning, Lord. And you'll not break your door down, Lord. God, you'll just come and tug. And you'll earnestly deal with their heart. So, Lord, for that one right now, God, that you're dealing with, I pray they take Mama by the hand, Daddy by the hand, they get the friend's hand. And they come, Lord, on this next verse, or maybe just as I am, Lord. God, they'll come. Oh, you do your work, Spirit of God. I'm careful to bless your name for what you do. In Jesus' name and for His sake, I pray. Amen. Let me say this before they sing one verse, just as I am. 1981, God had hemmed me up. In a little mountain church, our Greenville Baptist Church. I know God's laws, and I know God need to save you. And that music, that choir leader got just as I am. And the Holy Ghost give me one more pull. I'm glad I got out. I believe we got saved out in the high. I, I, I honestly tell you, I believe I got saved. I go back every morning to my salvation. But I believe I got saved, Brother Bill, when I stepped out. 
I went ahead and come to the altar. Said, Lord, forgive me my sins. I never will forget getting up, Brother Mike. Held and looked out. Mm -hmm. Load of guilt and shame. Lord, I, I couldn't confess them all. I couldn't tell all the sin that I'd been through, Lord. But God, with one sweep of His precious blood, washed all my sin away. Chen, yes. yes. I got up for the first time in my life. I was holy. Yes. I didn't have no sin. Uh -huh. You all just believe that, brother? But I got up. I didn't have no sin. Right. Yeah. No doubt. Sin come in. And I'm glad I had it now because with the Father, yes. Jesus Christ, the righteous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give one, one more verse of song, and I'll see. I'll let you go. But God's dealt with some young person, some older man. <laughs> One verse, Brother Doug, just as I am, and we'll go home. If you don't come. Here it is, life's call. Come. Come. Come unto me, Jesus said. All ye that labor in heaven, I know the Lord has come. Come. Just slide out. Come. 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 Come on, take the preacher by the hand. What you doing, sir? Ma'am? Don't die like you are. Come. Come on. Come on, let the preacher pray with you. Come on. Come on. as I am. Come on. Well, 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 I'm hard. Come on. Come on. In the day, you'll call a preacher. And may God deal with your heart. Get saved. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Let's bow for another word of prayer. Thank you so much for listening, visiting with us this morning. Thank you for praying for us. Brother Greg Smith, you dismiss us in another word of prayer. Lord, we're just thankful for liberty. Bring the word of God, Lord. Thank you, God. Speak my heart to